Hi Han, join me as I take down my crusty and dusty two week old cornrows today. I'm going to be using these two products from Shine Organics to help me out. The goal is to lose as little hair as possible and you know i'm going to show you how i go about all of it so i'm applying my moisture king hair mist from shiny organics to my hair first it makes my hair soft like instantly then i follow it up with the curls the light hair cream also from shiny organics you can tell by now that i'm absolutely obsessed with this brand i love this hair cream because in as much as it is a hair cream slash hair butter it is actually water based so in addition to um, sealing in moisture and softening the hair it also adds its own you know level of moisture and i just i just love it so much one thing you should never do when you are taking down your hair is to take down your hair dry always 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 make sure that your hair is moisturized before you start your takedown process this would drastically reduce the amount of breakage and tangles and knots that you're going to have to deal with once my hair is fully moisturized i can now begin the takedown process i always end my cornrows with twists because it makes the takedown process a lot like a lot easier right and i don't have to fuss too much with my ends my ends were twisted and at this stage where the cornrows are two weeks old the the ends have probably unraveled on their own anyway so there's really no stress there and then when it comes to taking down the cornrow itself i do my best to go as gently as possible because like i said the goal is to minimize the amount of hair loss that i get i think this is where a lot of people get it wrong you know when people try to use protective styling to retain length and to grow their hair to see an increase in their hair length you know it's one thing to be careful when you are putting in the hair it's one thing to um, keep the hair moisturized while it is in the protective style but then when uh, it comes to take down people tend to not pay attention they feel like their hair has grown while it is in the protective style so they want to rush and loosen it so that they can see all their new growth not knowing that you can lose everything you grew <laughs> in the takedown process if you are not careful. So I would always advise that when you are taking down your hair, make sure you are going as gently as possible as you are taking your hair down. Now, once I'm done taking down the cornrow, I like to go in and detangle as I go. Now, there are some people who would prefer to loosen all the cornrows on their head before they now sit down to squarely face detangling, but... Honestly, I feel like that is just a recipe for, you're just setting yourself up for work, like a lot of work. I prefer to detangle as I go because I know that once I'm done with that last cornrow, I'm done with everything that has to do with my hair because I've already detangled, right? And it's easier to detangle as you go because your hair is practically already sectioned. So once I'm done taking down the cornrows, I will just go in, finger detangle. I'll take a white root comb and detangle from my ends to my roots. Make sure that the entire section is completely not free. This is also where the conditioners that I put in my hair before I started also come to play. My hair is already moisturized. It's already soft. So I'm not really going to face any um troubles as I am detangling my hair. Again, just make sure that you... Um, moisturize your hair before you start your takedown process and then as you are taking down your hair make sure that you are doing it very very gently and then once you are done taking down a particular section of your hair make sure you detangle it immediately unless you are going for like a braid out or a twist out kind of vibe if you are taking down the hair for taking down the hair and doing a new style then as you are taking down the hair make sure you detangle as you go this will save you so much time it will save you so much stress and it will definitely minimize hair loss and hair breakage when i'm done i end up with these jumbo twists and to be honest i might actually keep my hair like this for another few days at the end of the day this is how much hair that i lost and i firmly believe that i could have lost way more but thanks to the fact that my hair was not dry and that i took my hair down very very carefully this is all the hair that i lost so i'm actually glad I made sure that I minimized my hair loss as much as possible. 
so yeah that is how i take down my hair that's how i take down my corners let me know if this video was really helpful in the comments and i will see you in my next one bye